day here I have a 7.3 that lacks power. Checked in the memory, I had a code for a 472, 1247, and 1211. The uh, 472 is an EVP sensor for the exhaust back pressure. 1247 is low boost, and 1211 is also the injection control pressure is higher or lower than expected. I've got it highlighted over there. And that's the main one that we want to look at. So I cleared them. I'm going to go out and road test it and see if I can get this one to duplicate. Okay, on this one with the EVP sensor and the 1211 code, first thing we look at is the EVP. That should be reading normally around 12, 16 PSI. So I have probably an open circuit or a bad sensor. I'll check into that in a minute. But right now, while it's running, what I want to look at and focus on is the IPR. If you have a 94 to 97 power stroke, it works uh, up to a 50% range. It, it, at once it's 50%, that's more or less fully shut, and it should be reaching the desired pressure before it gets there. If you have the 99 to 2,373, it'll work to a 65% range. And again, same thing, once you hit 65%, it better have the desired pressure and boost, otherwise it's compensating for something. And on the 7.3, this is important, your IPR can hit the, the 65% range because of fuel. So make sure you check your fuel pressure under load when you're hitting when you have a 1211 code. So anyhow, on this one, the IPR actually seems pretty good at idle at uh, pretty much 10%. That's what we expect. Anywhere between 9 and 11 is normal for a 7.3 idle. Hot, cold, it can be around 13, 15. So anyhow, I'm going to go under full throttle and see what happens. Sorry about it being shaky, but uh, this is actual vibe. So here we go. Okay, it's losing power, and we're at 65%. Back a lot and it almost wants to stall. It may even stall, but we're at 65% under hard excel. So I'm gonna coast here to the side of the road, it did die, and check this out. Okay, one thing you have to remember is the importance of the oil on the power stroke, especially the 7.3 and 6 O's. The um, Oil level and oil condition is really important to them. I'm going to go ahead and check this one. And it's not reading anything. So this may be as simple as an oil change. Let's change the oil, clear the codes, and retest this one. Yeah, show how low it is. See, that's only probably three, four quarts. Okay, here we go. It's the next morning. Got the oil all changed. Let's check it here. Alright, now we've got the oil there. drive and see if we get any different results. Okay, I'll try to keep this as steady as possible, but this is now after the oil change. You see we have the IPR at a warm idle, just about perfect, at a 9%. That's normal. We normally like to see it anywhere around 9 to maybe as high as 13, warm idle. And here I'll do a hard excel, and again, sorry if it starts to shake.
no power loss. It's picking up. It's not even getting close to 50. You might can see that. There, I let off. Before, it would it even stalled on me. So this one actually is just low on oil. When I get back to the shop here, I'll uh, go over a few things we want to look for. So you actually want to check your oil, uh, air filter and your turbo. And I'll go over that here in a second. Okay, when you get one of these and the oil was low as it was, um, you want to start checking a few things. Some of the things that's important. Of course, you can look at the lube sticker. This one only showed 5,000 miles, which isn't too bad. It's not too far out of specs. So I wanted to go out here and look and see what else, I'm, what else I can find. Believe it or not, I, an air filter can cause these to use oil. A restricted air filter can cause them to use oil. And this one, air filters, they, they all look kind of dirty. This one's not real bad, but yes, it is, it is dirty. It is restricted, so we have problems. But then what we want to look for is inside the turbo. So let's look inside there, and we do see wear, so we do have a lack of maintenance going on. And the reason being how a restricted air filter can cause them to use oil is this engine, the crankcase ventilations, go here on a draft system. When the, the crankcase pressures just rise and come up right here into the air filter, into the air stream. And if you, ha if you don't have a restricted air filter, the air would just go in as the vapors rise the air travels through and it just picks them up and takes them to the engine and it burns them diesels like to burn oil so it's fine it doesn't harm anything it's not like it has spark plugs that were fouling so it works great but when you have a restricted air filter it's more or less shuts it off like this and now you have suction so instead of just having draft picking up the vapors going by it has suction from the restricted air filter and it starts to suck the oil out of the engine so when you have a restricted air filter, these things can actually use oil. So with it being a, a worn, with the, um, the turbo showing signs of wear, I'm sure that same wear is on the pistons and the rings. So we're going to have block wear. And then if we have a restricted air filter, all that stuff's going to make it, um, it's going to amplify it all and make it worse. So on this one, we do have engine wear and we're gonna have to tell the customer if he doesn't want to replace the engine or go in and fix it, that he's going to have to watch his oil um, to be checking his dipstick or um, check it often so he makes sure that he doesn't run it low on oil like this again and lack power. So now there's a few things you're going to look for and, and what to uh, check if you have one that's lacking power. Again, because on a 7.3 and a 6.0 oil condition and level is important. The um, I start to see problems if people try to go say 8,000 miles, the oil, breaks, the oil will break down and not work very well as a hydraulic fluid and you start to see issues with the um, injectors because remember again these engines, the injectors use the, the lube oil, the base oil as a hydraulic fluid to push the fuel in so oil again is important on these things. Now I'm going to check the EBP and get that one fixed and also go talk to the customer and see how they want to handle this. Thank you.